in the eukaryotic cell the five prime end of mrna which is newly formed contains a ntp ntp stands for nucleoside triphosphate this ntp has one alpha phosphate one beta phosphate and one gamma phosphate during the first step of capping in presence of phosphohydrolase the removal of gamma phosphate occurs due to this gamma phosphate removal a pre mrna containing ndp is formed ndp stands for nucleoside diphosphate the ndp now contains an alpha phosphate and a beta phosphate the cellular gtp contains an alpha phosphate a beta phosphate and a gamma phosphate the gtp then binds with ndp of pre mrna in the next step in presence of guanylyl transferase the removal of beta and gamma phosphates of gtp occurs and also the remaining guanosine monophosphate is added to the ndp of pre mrna as a result the pre mrna having a guanosine residue added cap is formed in the next step in presence of guanine 7 methyl transferase a ch3 or methyl group from s adomat is added to the guanosine residue of the cap as a result a pre mrna having a 7 methyl guanosine cap is formed s adomat stands for s adenosyl methionine n7 stands for 7 methyl m stands for methyl in the next step in presence of 2 prime o methyl transferase a ch3 or methyl group from s adomat is added to the ribose sugar of mrna as a result a pre mrna or newly formed mrna having a 7 methyl guanosine cap and a methylated ribose sugar is formed sometimes two ribose sugars of the mrna are methylated by 2 prime o methyl transferase in this case the second methyl group also comes from s adomat please like subscribe and share